This is the Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Trilogy Earthrise Leader Class Double Dealer. Here's a quick look at the packaging. Great box art. And I picked up this figure from R Toys and the insert that came with Double Dealer on the space map or star map. It says Caminus. And here is a Double Dealer out of packaging and the figure is a very very imposing figure armed to the teeth this figure has massive amounts of firepower on him he comes with a slew of ordnance and weapons and accessories and when you see him on the battlefield you're in for some bad news so absolutely ridiculous amounts of firepower look at this guy and the colors the colors are so 80s like how robots transformers were done in these purple and baby blue and oh my goodness i'll have him on an amazing yamaguchi deadpool stand so he's teetering on it but he balances very nicely let's get him off before i break the stand he's about to jump on megatron megatron bring on the pain so let's take a bit of an inventory on the weapons and arms that he has. He's got a huge miss shoulder mounted missile or missile launcher. He's got his huge cannon of a gun. He's got a smaller shoulder cannon right here. Uh, he's got a backpack that kind of looks like wings, but these are supposed to be the, on the truck, these are supposed to be the um, support so that the truck doesn't tilt or tip over, but they kind of look like wings. And then he's got some more missiles right here, missile pods. I mean, this guy is a one-man battalion, or one-robot battalion. Now, back in G1, this guy was supposed to be a Power Master, and you're supposed to attach one of the Power Master minions here to activate some of his transformation and some of his effects and gimmicks and whatnot. You can do that if you wanted to. Just open it up, and then you could attach uh, the minion here in cassette mode. Got Autobot faction symbols right here. He's got a well painted head sculpt done in this powder blue, electric blue paint on his face. Eyes neatly painted. I actually thought it was a headmaster. It, it, that, it, that's how good this head sculpt is. In terms of articulation, he's got a ball jointed neck. He's got a fantastic waist swivel. I didn't expect a waist swivel, honestly. I thought because of the transformation, there'd be no waist swivel. Uh, he's got a swivel joint for the shoulder right here. That's a little bit on the low side uh, when you when you're trying to make him reach out uh, In front of him the shoulder is obviously way too low, but that's fine The there's another hinge on his shoulder allows you to move the Arms in and out. He's got a bicep swivel double hinge elbow Some wrist articulation. He's got a wrist swivel, which is pretty cool and a hinge wrist uh, just because of transformation. Hips, ball, ball hinge joints can go, do the splits, forward and backward. No thigh swivel though. I don't, this could, I don't know, it's a knee swivel, I suppose. Hinge knees and the mandatory rocker pivots, ankle joints. Now, if you purchased the Generation Select Soundwave Spy Patrol set, you will get two of these minions. Uh, that should be the minions or power master minions for double dealer knock and scar scar is a decepticon power master while knock is the autobot power master if you put knock right here you will see that his colors are absolutely perfect and matches double dealer there is a removable piece right here in his belly and you can actually attach it right here to make it somehow look like a power master, although he's a little bit too high. The original toy had him actually right here. If you remember the old G1 toy, which I never had as a kid, it looked something like this. God, it was so weird looking. It looked like an Asgardian robot. And this thing was huge. Uh, I think it was double the size of this current double dealer. Figure. If you notice right there, this whole setup right here kind of mimics this whole area right here. It's not perfect, uh, but uh, I think it'll work. Power 
Transformer will offer Miss Prime. Double Dealer, the Power Master Mercenary. Only the Power Master Mercenary can become an Autobot or a Decepticon. But in a flash, Power Master Optimus Prime becomes a super robot. Power Master Transformer sold separately. So, transformation. He has a vehicle mode and a beast mode. Uh, I think we should turn him into his truck mode first and then into his bird mode. Okay? So, first thing you want to do, you want to get rid of the weapons. You see these things. Okay? And uh, his bird mode is a Decepticon alt mode, and supposedly the truck mode is the Autobot alt mode. But in robot mode, he's in his Autobot mode. If you do want to turn him into his Decepticon alter ego or undercover as a Decepticon, you just flip down those faction, new faction symbols. And uh, I thought that was pretty neat. Nice uh, James Bond switcheroo right there. So get rid of the jetpack, jet wing. Truck supports. Okay. Now, uh, ideally, or at least what the instructions say, the correct transformation for robot mode is this way. With the, the tip of the wings down like that, like a rear waist cape or something like that. But uh, I do prefer the wings up in robot mode. But in truck mode, you're going to have to do this so that it's all flush and that the wheels are able to roll on the ground without the... Uh, feathers or the, or the wings scraping the ground. So, so truck mode. Let's do the legs first. Those are the most difficult ones to transform. Let's do this. Do this. Okay. Fold these out. Rotate the knees like this. And the lower legs are going to fold up like this. And what you want to do is just get these wings out of the way for the time being. What you want to do is you want to peg these very thin pegs right there onto the side of his thighs. So, okay, like that. Do the same on the other side. Okay, and then peg both knees together or both lower legs together and it will form the front part of the truck. Okay, the chest piece goes like this and tabs in like that. Okay, i put these wings back. Okay, the arms, uh, they're going to rotate the bicep this way, fold the fists inward, and then tab the forearm at the back of the shoulders. So do the same on the other side. Okay, do that. Okay. Once you've done that, you're gonna need to fold this entire the shoulder assembly. Don't don't fold it this way. There's a hidden uh, latch or a hidden panel or hinge right here, which you'll be able to do so by holding this one down and flip it out, just like that. Don't worry if it feels like you're gonna break it. It's really, really tight the first time you're gonna do it. So you just have to just tug on it and it should give in. Okay. And then finally, what you wanna do is you wanna raise this part right here. Get the gun and the shoulder cannon. Join them together. You wanna peg them right here. That's gonna form the missile or the rocket on the military vehicle. That's, that's pretty cool Cool on its own. It rolls nicely. You can accessorize by adding this bit right here. Actually, this is part of the truck. I just forgot to tell you, just forgot to do it in. So, okay, attach that. Okay, raise it up like this, okay. And then just attach the other weapons or accessories just to complement the alt mode. And there you go. There is Double Dealer in his military vehicle mode. Rolls nicely. 
And for a size comparison, here he is in vehicle mode with Earthrise Hoist. So it's a really huge vehicle mode. Kind of feels like a big Voyager class figure, but it's a leader class alt mode. Pretty huge, good scale. And to transform this alt mode into sort of the battle station mode, which will allow you to connect with other transformers that have the this kind of connector pegs. Uh, what you want to do is you want to lower this ramp right there, the supports, go like that, and then you just raise that rocket. And now let's get him into his bird mode, get rid of the rocket, and uh, this one, get rid of the other accessories, okay. Okay, um, what you want to do, you want to flip these Panels back like that. Okay. Set the arms straight like that. This one, we'll keep it like that. Okay. Uh, let's let's do the legs first. Um, again, as I said, those are that's the most difficult part of the transformation. Okay. So unpeg. The legs again okay and then what you want to do is you want to get rid of these wheels the rear wheels you have you have enough space to collapse these legs now this peg right here I can just show you is sort of gonna tab in to that slot right there I know it looks it looks simple but it's actually much complicated than it looks so what you want to do is you want to fold this knee joint all the way up. It's a lot more difficult to do it this way. So what I do is I just set it up, at least in my experience, just set it up like that. Okay. And it's easier to do it this way when you've got things lined up because you know that this panel right here, it's going to tab into those slots right there. Just have that panel clipped on right there. And then this one, you just have to shove it in till it clicks. And usually it works. Okay, so do the same on the other side. Go ahead and lock that panel in first, just as a guide. Don't, just don't, don't force it in, otherwise you're gonna break this joint right here. So just do it like that. And then shove this thing in like that, till it clicks. It's a lot easier doing it this way then if you're looking at it and you're trying to just push it in or something like that so just be wary about that okay and then what you want to do is this piece right here the cockpit of the truck and fold it up like this the power master chamber go ahead and oh you don't need to rotate just put it like this and then you're going to hook that bit of the cockpit right there it doesn't tab into anything or anything like that, so it just stays like that. And then what you want to do is you want to rotate these wheels down like this. And the talons of the feet, like that, they'll form the feet. And then the forearms, they're going to tab onto the that very thin peg right there. And, tab, and then this slot right there, that's what you're going to tab in right there. So, I'm going to do that. Okay. Do the same on the other side. Okay. okay, and then the wings are just gonna stay right here. Okay, and then what you wanna do is you wanna open this panel right here. All right, and then the, the eagle head is gonna come out this way, and then the robot head is supposed to take its place right here. It's a very, very tight clearance, about a hair just a hair separating that and kind of scrapes that uh, the crest on the head so I'm kind of bummed out about that over time that thing's going to keep scraping okay and then what you want to do is you want to close back that panel and then stretch out that neck like that and then the beak you can open it like that and then this panel it's just going to fold in like this like this and then the legs I'm sorry, just 
straighten this shoulder, the shoulder pieces out. And they're just gonna fold in like that. Okay. It's a huge, huge rear-ended bird, but the weapons are gonna make it pretty. So what you wanna do is a rocket. You're gonna wanna tab it onto these, this clip right here. It's a little tight, like that. This is how I wanna do it. The instructions tell you to just tab these things first, but I feel it's easier if you tab in the rocket first before you tab this. And this one, you're just gonna sneak it in like this, because if you tab the rocket in here first and then you try and clip it, this thing will keep popping off and all that. So I think tab the rocket in and then you can do the tail. And then this one, you just fold like this. That's the bird tail with the big missile. And then the others, you can just, Plug them in here underneath uh, the weapons and then the missile array or the missile launchers. Let's go like that. And there you go. There is the bird mode. I think by far this is the weakest mode. There's so much kibble of the front part of the truck sitting on the rear end of the bird. I honestly don't know how they could have fixed this. Yeah, it's just too much of a huge kibble to really hide or compress. Uh, but they did a wonderful job, I believe, with the bird parts. I love the eagle, the sculpt of the eagle head. The wings are amazing, especially done in this sort of periwinkle uh, type of purple color, sort of the talons. Everything about this bird mode works except for this rear end, so... Okay. <laughs> And so some final thoughts on this figure. I really enjoyed this figure. I didn't expect to like it as much as I did. I think Hasbro and Takaratomi did a wonderful job, an exceptional job, in fact, on this figure. I'm giving it a solid nine and a half out of 10. It's a near perfect figure. My only gripe was really the transformation of the legs. That wasn't a lot of fun, but everything else about the figure is great. It's got a solid, solid, uh, truck mode, great bulky, beefy, well-armed, massive, and imposing robot mode. The bird mode overall was great. Uh, some rear ki kibble that couldn't be avoided. But the whole figure is a great big homage to the G1 double dealer done in a better, more modern and updated version. So I highly recommend this figure. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this figure. And as always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.